Victoria Rose. How are you? I have obviously taken some time off of YouTube. Um, well, not obviously. I've been posting my van life videos from a year ago because I have not been filming much since I've been here back in America after going to London. So you guys haven't really seen the reality of, I guess, 2021 now. So hello, 2021. And hello to all of you in this new reality. I have been trying to get situated here, kind of accept things. And you guys, maybe you don't know, but I have a really, really hard time accepting things. I asked you guys to ask me some questions about a kind of a life update video. The last time that I vlogged was whenever I was this year, well, in 2020 was, uh, fuck. Every time I take any time off at all, I completely forget everything. I was in London. So we're gonna start with that first question because I know this is the question people are gonna ask the very most. The, the main question is what happened to Johnny? Are you going back to the UK? What's gone with that? Because it's my most recent content. Um, and just to answer that pretty briefly is that you never know until you're with someone and you learn about them more and figure out if you wanna continue something or not. With Johnny and I, right now anyways, especially with all COVID and everything, there's nothing happening with that. Um, he is an amazing person. I'm not going into details about anything. We are both kind of on the same page about everything. It's just for right now, or in our lives, it's just, it can't happen right now. Uh, it's very complicated, but that's where that is. So you guys don't need to ask that question anymore. Um, I definitely don't want to post relationship stuff or super personal stuff now. To the next question. I'm in New Jersey now, and I've already said this before. I have an apartment now. This is my room. Uh, comment below if you guys want me to do a room tour. Also, leave a thumbs up for this video. No reason at all, really. I have a base now, and I've wanted this for a while. I travel a lot, COVID, and one of the questions is, did um, 2020 force you to change plans for long-term goals? And yes, it did. 2020 was not a good year for everyone. It completely derailed any plans I had, which was a good thing because I am very stubborn and inflexible at times and it really helped me to give me perspective on things that I need to, to figure out about myself and about what the truth is um, going inwards. I, I've i learned so much through all of this. I'm extremely grateful. If it hadn't had happened and the other things that besides COVID hadn't happened to me, I probably would have kept traveling and kind of avoided what I needed to focus on, which was things inside myself. So I'm really glad that I was able to go through the pain that made me learn and become, I think, more wise about things. And I didn't know I needed it at the time. That's why we should never say what is good and what is bad because we don't know what's good and bad for us a lot of the times. So my plan was to continue to travel and make travel content. And that's just all I've been wanting to do for such a long time now. And that actually stopped with COVID, kind of. I've still traveled different places, not, just not the places that I was intending to. For long-term goals, it's still, yes, it's still affecting it because we still don't know when it's gonna end. Uh, I am planning on in the summertime, hopefully by then things will be open more to travel again. I'm making plans and I'm trying to organize everything. I'm trying to make save up money right now to be able to go off and do that. Now that I have a base, I also have to pay rent. It also gives me a place to be able to come back to. So I'm very happy about that. And that was another question is, is traveling all year without a place to call home exhausting? It was incredibly exhausting especially when i was alone and not having a place and living out of two suitcases even travel influencers would agree that you kind of need some sort of something and another question was i'm sure you have a place to call home but in general is it and no this is not my home i don't have a home the world is my home and traveling and and seeing the whole world it feels like home to me it really does i need a lot of alone time. I realize about myself a lot of things and I need a lot of alone time and I need a lot of freedom. Having a place where it's low stress, uh, good people, and where I can just focus on me and figuring out how to heal myself and make myself better before focusing on anyone else that I put into my life is the best thing. How is your new tattoo doing and when or when is the reveal as well? Uh, I did get a new tattoo. I got a back tattoo and the next video is going to reveal that it's a whole spine tattoo and i'm going to show you guys that whole process i got tattooed in, in the city in new york that'll be in the next video and it's doing fine <laughs> like I, I live in new jersey but it's 
incredibly close to New York City, so I say I'm based in New York City, just for like um, any type of whatever, any type of anything, I just say that, it's easier. Are you okay? Um, I am okay. You guys have probably seen, I have changed a lot throughout my whole YouTube career. <laughs> and I have, and I'm happy about it. Like, who wants to say the same all the time? That's boring. And people sometimes would be like, wow, you changed so much in such a short amount of time. But it's like, if we're not changing and growing, what are we doing? We're just stagnant and it's just decomposing. And I want to, I want to be the best person I can be. And maybe there was nothing wrong with me before, but thinking maybe there's something wrong opens your mind to bettering yourself. I don't think that I was, a, I don't think people are good and bad. And I don't think that I was good or bad. It's just, just a different way of kind of seeing things. And it's been very hard. It's been very difficult, but this is me for now. Who knows who I'll be in a year. What are three main goals to achieve as soon as things are back to normal? I want to kind of create a, a business with a photographer friend of mine to where we can continuously travel and make tons of content while traveling and grow the travel content on YouTube again because um, it kind of plummeted a, a, a bit the past year and that's fine. Things go up and down, that's how it works. But I'd like to really, really push that now and really focus on that as work. Uh, I'd like to get also, uh, I'd like to get partnered or collaborating with travel type businesses, brands, anything that has to do that's, re that's relevant to that topic. So making travel kind of a full-time thing again, kind of a, a general goal. And I know your goal is just to be really specific, but I really like to learn really well after effects. And I've been learning. That's what I've been doing a lot. Having that as well as personal training on the side, just, you know, that was another question of, if I didn't do YouTube, what would I do? And it'd most likely be something to do with video editing and personal training. I wanna make enough money to not struggle anymore by myself and kind of make a business out of what I'm doing like fully. And I also like to continue to partner with other creators everywhere. Also, I really, really, really have been wanting this for a long time to go to South Korea and possibly live there for like a little period of time, maybe like two months or so, just to really get a feel for the culture of it and understand it better. There's a lot of places that I wanna do. I like, I wanna like travel and stay there for like a while. Also doing van life in as many pretty countries as possible. What gets you out of bed every day? Uh, this has been a difficult thing because I have the past couple months now that I've been back, which has been a couple months now, has been, I've. I got depressed because things didn't work out how I wanted them to, which there's a reason for that, but I was really depressed for a while. I had better tools to deal with it this time because I kind of understood myself a bit better and what was happening. And even though I had these feelings, I knew that they wouldn't last forever. It was just very um, sad for me. And a lot of, it, it was, it was just, it was sad. I um, created a really beautiful bond with someone that I couldn't see anymore and just everything changing all at once, you know. It was hard for me to, and it st sometimes still is, and it has been for a long time for me to get out of bed every morning and be like excited. And I think that a lot of people are dealing with this. Um, I've created routines for myself now, and that's what gets me out of bed now. And I didn't realize how much I love having routines and something the same that I can count on, like something for me to count on. But it's still kind of a struggle. I really look forward to creating things. I love going to the gym. That's one of my favorite things to do. Just learning and I think trying to be as present as possible in the moment. And having my routines really helps me with that because it's like, it, it, it calms me. And then one of the other questions was, and I don't know if you guys are on my Instagram, I have posted a lot of a little puppy and it is a little pug. It is not my pug, but it lives with us. It's my roommates, my best friends, and her boyfriend's dog. So it's been really also nice to have an animal again. And it's not, like I said, it's not my puppy. It's nice to have that option without all the responsibility of having a dog. I can't commit to having an animal when I know that I want to travel and stuff. It's not, that would not be responsible of me. I'm gonna go get her. Yes! Okay, so this is Aria. She's half a year old. And she's very loving and very excited. She's very hyper, but then she'll just like clonk out on you and just like sleep as well. So it's really nice balance. She's a little black pug, a little black pug. Black pug, huh? Sometimes I don't know what I need and having this time being here again. I don't really want to be in America, but this is the way life is right now. And you kind of, sometimes when you can't change things, you have to accept them. Shh. 
All right, so that's my little q and I know the questions weren't that interesting, um, and I'm not that interesting right now anyways, but there's gonna be a lot more content coming up in a couple months, tons of travel, but I'm putting it out there, even if it doesn't happen the way I want it to. I love you guys very much. Stay extraterrestrial. Stay tuned for the next video, and that'll be about my back tattoo that I got. See you in the next video. Bye.